Now that you understand that Jasper's primary functionality is to respond to you, let's walk through a template and discuss how you can generate great responses from Jasper inside one of our amazing templates available to all users. When looking at a template, you will see a set of predetermined input fields. These fields are the baseline information you want Jasper to reference in his response. Without them, Jasper doesn't know what to respond to. Think, hey Siri, give me directions. Directions to where? Exactly. As you can see, that's probably not quite enough information for Siri to give you directions. We've set these input fields inside of a template to help you communicate with Jasper the information he needs to write great content for you. Once you have communicated to Jasper via the given input fields for that template, click the Generate AI Content button at the bottom of the template. Jasper will then read your inputs and generate his best outputs or responses based on those inputs. Templates are built for specific output structures, so you'll notice some template responses are going to generate lists like the blog post outline template, while others are structured in a paragraph form like the paragraph generator or the product description template. That's how a template functions. Pretty simple, right? Now, as you learn to use these templates, remember this. Jasper is a creative assistant. Again, he responds to you. So take a moment to think about what it is you are ultimately trying to accomplish, and then identify the features and functions that will help you accomplish that task. With the right inputs in a template, you can generate ready-to-publish social media content, emails, blog posts, and ads in seconds. Now, before you move on to the next video, take a moment and access the AIDA framework template and try it out on your own. Test out how changing the inputs will change the responses or outputs Jasper creates.